Hello and welcome to another You Attend by Chronologic YouTube tutorial. My name is James and I am part of the support team for the You Attend system. And today we will be covering the general department rules. So essentially, once we've gone through and added the departments, uh, we can go through and configure the rules that will apply to the employees that work within those departments. So first of all, you'll need to go to the departments. An administrator can do this or a supervisor with the necessary privileges. So what we'll do is we'll go into our kitchen department, which is a fresh department I've just created. And right now you can see that we are in the kitchen department in the general tab. So these are just the general rules that will apply to the staff that work in kitchen. So first things first, let's go through what we have available. We've got the rounding and grace here. At the present, we don't have any rounding and grace. So what this means is, this is the rounding that will be applied to the hours and minutes worked by the employees. So essentially at present, as it's unrounded, it's going to give you an exact figure. So staff aren't gonna come in punctually at nine and finish bang on at five. They're gonna maybe come in a little bit earlier and they might finish a little bit later, which is gonna be something like, you know, uh, eight hours and uh, a couple of minutes. We need to, if we want to round that, which can benefit the payroll process, we can click edit on here. The pre-shift is used for the schedule, which we won't cover in this section. Uh, so we will not need to do that. The shift start is when they first come in to start their work. So we could specify the increment of rounding we would like. Typically, most customers like 15 minutes. So this is going to round forwards to the nearest 15 minutes. So for instance, at present, if I was to come in at 8.50, it would round forwards to 9 a.m. The grace period is a really handy feature as well, where you can provide a little bit of leniency to your staff. So it's well known that sometimes employees may come in at say 8.02 or 8.05. So they've come in, you know, technically a little bit late, but we don't mind that too much. So what we can do is we can put in a grace period. If you don't have grace, what will happen is if I clocked in at 8.01, it's gonna round forwards to 8.15. So you could put the amount of grace that you would like. I usually recommend anywhere between one to five minutes. So let's do five minutes. And what this means is I can now uh, clock in at 8.05 and I'll be paid from 8.15. But if I get paid, if I clock in at 8.06, I'm outside the five minute window, which means I will be paid from 8.15. So that is when they come in. The shift start is when they start their shift. The during shift clock in is used for staff that transfer departments. So if you have staff that work in multiple departments throughout the day, for instance, you may have engineers that are working on different projects. You may have your, your project set up as departments. You would need, and you want those rounded. This is where you would put this. So you could put 15, and again, any grace period. I'm not gonna to worry too much about this. Um, you could put five minutes here as well. And lastly, the during shift clock out is when they are finished for the day. This is when they clock out. So this is when they have, they've fit, completed their work. They go to the machine or the app or the web or the phone or whatever, and they push clock out and it will round backwards. So I could put 15 in here. So again, the grace works the other way here. So if I was to clock out at say 16.59, I'm one minute away from five o'clock, it will round backwards to 16.45. So if you have sort of strict rules regarding when your employees can clock out, most people tend not to put grace here. However, if you don't mind, if they left at say 16.58, they may have finished all their jobs and they're just gonna leave a little bit early. You could put say two minutes grace here instead. The post shift is similar to the pre shift, but it's, it's the opposite. It's to do with the schedule. Uh, again, we will not go through that here. Uh, so we don't need to set up a pre or post shift. These are the only ones we would need. 
So I'm just going to click save for this example. And that's the rounding and grace. Next up, we have other deduction duration. This is typically used as an automatic deduction for lunch. So if we have uh, a lunch that is unpaid and your staff, you do not want to pay them uh, for their lunch break, we can automatically deduct it, which saves putting the onus on your employees to remember to clock out for their lunches and does save time. If you click edit, the way this is done is based on hours worked. So you could specify the number of hours all your employees need to work before they earn this deduction. So if we click say after six hours, I will take 30 minutes off of their time for their lunch and save. We don't use a deduction window typically as there's no necessary need to do so. The lunch is being deducted as long as they work the six hours. A paid break duration again is quite rare. If their staff uh, are paid for lunches during their shift, we don't need to add it on. It's included in what you're paying them already. But in some cases, if they work 12 hours, they get the 30 minutes that was deducted uh, added back on. So you could do, say, after eight and a half hours, I will add 30 minutes, which essentially balances it out. I'm not going to set this up today. Moving down to the lunch clock section, we don't need to do the add up to or the lunch lockout. Some people would prefer that their employees record their lunch breaks. Uh, this is where you can set up the deduct lunch clocks from the time card. So in you attend, lunches are deductible. So if you wanted that, you could click edit and set that to yes. If you don't want the lunches to be deducted, you can leave this off. And what will simply happen is the time will be recorded when they go on lunch and the time will be recorded when they come back from lunch. And that's it. It doesn't add anything and it doesn't deduct anything. Only enable this if you want to deduct lunches. Again, with the break, we don't need an add up to or a break lockout. It's not a commonly used feature. Breaks are not deductible in you attend. So therefore, if you have staff that take little five minute, maybe cigarette breaks, or you just give them a little rest period, but it is still deductible, you will have to record them as lunches because only lunches are deductible. But if you don't mind, breaks are a perfect way just to record when your employees are going for a quick break. Thanks for listening. I hope you have found this video useful. Remember to like this video by clicking the thumbs up and subscribe for more content. You can find out more information on how to get in touch with us in the video description down below.